have travelled a long way. The river looks wider and the colour of the water has changed. The trees look smaller here compared to the trees upstream. This is the Kinabatangan River. It starts up in the Malia Basin, where we came from. It's 560 kilometres long and it's the longest river in Sabah. Look how it bends, like a snake. There are lots of people on a boat. What are they looking at? That's a long tail macaque. Look, it's going to jump. This is a Bornean pygmy elephant. Wow, there's a herd of them. They live only here in the eastern part of Borneo. Look, there's a beautiful hornbill. No wonder people come from all over the world to see them. That was so exciting! Hmm, what is behind the trees? Let's take a look from the air. Oh, the forest here along the river is so narrow. Strange. Once you get away from the river, the trees look different from what I saw before. The trees are in straight lines and they all look the same. Aha! This is an oil palm plantation. I can see some people over there. They are harvesting the oil palm fruits. The fruits are taken to the mill. how they process it. The fruits are steamed and compressed to extract the oil. This is palm oil. Palm oil is used in many everyday products. It is an important industry in Malaysia. In some parts of the world, palm oil is used as biofuel for cars. However, there is a problem. Can you see how close this oil palm plantation is to the river? This will cause pollution because of the runoff from the plantation. Therefore, it has 
has to be managed properly to make sure that it does not pollute the river. For example, this pond is designed to clean the wastewater from the mill before it reaches the river. It is one of the good practices of palm oil mills. Because of the expansion of oil palm plantations, wild animals such as elephants and orangutan are forced to move into the plantations. This causes a conflict between wildlife and man. This makes the natural forest remaining by the river so important for the wildlife. Can you see the gap between these patches of forests? Animals cannot move from one patch of forest to the next. In some places, plantation owners have built bridges for the elephants to cross from one patch of forest to the next. Isn't that great? Well, this has been very interesting so far. I wonder where the river will take me next. <laughs>